So hi, I am engineer Benny Sims from Fire Station 103 in Pico Rivera, and I'm going to show you one of our specialized rigs today. This is our heavy rescue, which is what we use for any type of major building collapse. Vehicle goes into a building, vehicle goes under another semi, car goes over the side. This is the vehicle that we use to actually affect the rescue. So come with me and let's, uh, let's take a look. So right here off the back end, this is a big rigging box. So basically this has all the equipment that we use if we're gonna operate anything that's very heavy. Anything that is gonna require me to put this apparatus into service to make a rescue, this is my big stuff. We don't use it that often. That box, if you will, rides where this boom is. The boom slides back and forth to allow me to stay within my tip chart, within the range of this vehicle, so that way I know that I'm safe as far as the capability of what I'm lifting. You notice we have two lines. We have a red line and a yellow line. Both those lines are good for 20,000 pounds a piece. The two blue and green lines, those are good for 12,000 pounds. If you look on the side of the rig, it says 65 ton. You might ask yourself, well, if you can pick up 65 ton, how do you do it with a 20,000 pound line? Well, I have different uh, pieces of equipment called snatch blocks, which allows us to double the lineup. And in essence, I get to double the strength depending on how many uh, snatch blocks I use in it. You won't see this rig very often uh, unless you're on a major incident because this thing is a specialty vehicle. It's the one that we have for LA County. So it technically covers from Long Beach all the way up to uh, Lancaster. This is just some of the equipment that we have on this side. You'll see this is my operation. So this is all my controls. These are charts that tell me what the safe working capability is. I've got a screen that comes on that tells me how much weight I actually have, how much my boom is out, what percentage of my load I'm at. This is my remote control, so I can actually stand next to the vehicle I'm working with. I don't have to be at the machine. So it allows me to get right up next to the guys that's working and I can see what's going on with my equipment. Different ways for us to connect to the vehicle or to whatever casualty that we're working with shackles, different containers, different ways for us to connect to the different attachment points. If we uh, walk around, we, you want to walk around the front or the back? We've got a light tower here also. This light tower will light up almost uh, the size of a football field. So not only do I have all the lights on my boom, now I can set up this light and work the area around the boom. More equipment, if I have to pick up a trailer, and the semi-trailer, if we separate the tractor from the trailer, I have a piece of apparatus allow me to hook up and I can actually pick up that trailer off the kingpin on the trailer. Just uh, everyday equipment that we have, uh, since this is especially equipment, we have to have capabilities for dive rescue. I have to have all my rope rescue capability and then we also go to normal structure fire, so I have to have that equipment as well. <laughs> This is what we call our tunnel box. So this is the bread and butter that we use for everyday stuff. I've got my chain here. I've got three inch chain, which is good for 10,000 pounds. I've got half inch chain, which is good for 17,000 pounds. I have my snatch blocks, which are, these are the equipment which allows me to take that line from 20,000. I run it through here and now I'm good for 40,000. Just different tools, different ways that we connect to semi trucks, cement trucks, anything that we're using, big pieces of cement, big pieces of concrete, we use any of that type of equipment there. Just working our way back. Here we just have our, our um, hand tools that we, that we like to utilize. As you see that we're all Milwaukee. So we, it's almost that uh, we have a good relationship with them. And then we have more of our snatch blocks, or not, I'm sorry, our more shackles to make our connection points. This vehicle itself weighs 73,800 pounds. So it has a lot of weight going down the rig. Again, with that rigging box, that rigging box is just used for the big, big uh, incidents. So this boom slides. So this boom will slide all the way to the front of the rig and that rigging box will sit up and live where the boom is. I don't have to take that box off to operate it. It allows me to put the box closer to the guys if they're working, if they need that. But without that, 
I can operate completely a regular car with the stuff that I have in my tunnel box there. And then you also see that this tire is kind of elevated off the ground. It has a tag axle, which when I start driving, I have a button that I can push and it allows me to put the wheels on the ground. So that way I can get less weight on the front end of, I can either adjust how much weight is on my steer tires based on if I use that wheel or not. This is the only one that we have in the county. We have a reserve. We had a reserve that uh, we put in service, or this we put in service almost three years ago. The reserve, the other one we have, we put into reserve status, so it just sits at a facility in case we need this one. This goes out on, as a task force. So we're out of Pico Rivera. You have the USAR tractor trailer, the heavy rescue, the small pickup truck there is called a rescue tender, and then we have a typical fire engine, and all four of us go to whatever incident happens. You won't see this on every incident. This only goes on the major incidents. One way to look at the way our urban search and rescue works is if the public has an emergency, they call 911. If the fire department has an emergency, they call the USAR because we have the extra equipment that they don't have. We are part, since we are the urban search and rescue team, we are part of two teams that are approved to go international to deploy anywhere in the world. Across the United States, you have 28 teams, which can handle all the regional stuff in the United States, but there's only two teams, us in Fairfax, Virginia, that are uh, certified to deploy uh, so anywhere in the world. We just sent an 84-man team to Turkey for the earthquakes, brought those guys back, so we get to travel the world. So that's why we have all the specialty equipment. And that's, uh, that's your Heavy Rescue 103.